So let's see if this is working now. I'm not sure what's going on with the live stream this evening. Let's have a look to see if it's live now. There we go. Finally, we have got somewhere. We are live. Uh, sorry for that, guys. Sorry it took a little bit of time to get online. I had a little bit of a struggle with Streamlabs, and uh, yeah, we're finally on live. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're a little bit delayed this evening. Sorry, a couple of minutes. Um, just trying to figure out the live stream stuff. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I might go for the more premium membership. Uh, I might start paying for the membership because I think this free membership of Streamlabs is probably not the best way to go on about it. And yeah, how's it going? Uh, uh, movement, uh, shock for tuning in. I see you're a South African. Uh, it's great to have a whole bunch of South African guys tuning in to watch my live streams as well as watch my YouTube videos. Um, I've started to make this kind of a Kind of a weekly thing now. Sorry, the screen is kind of squished here a little bit. Um, I think it's kind of running on 1080, so the resolution might be a little bit higher. That might be the reason why it's getting um, squished a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to firstly uh, thank everyone for tuning in this evening. And yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this uh, third edition um, of my live streaming here on YouTube. Uh, and yeah, kind of this evening uh, is all about kind of how. I can get back into fitness and how you guys, if you've taken uh, a couple of weeks off or a few months off due to Corona, uh, what you guys can do to kind of get back into fitness and you guys can, how you guys can go about doing that and how you can get fitter and stronger coming over the winter months, uh, whether you're in Europe or whether you're in South Africa or whichever country you happen to be in, how you can stay motivated over the winter. Uh, and at the end of this live stream, uh, I'm going to give you guys some insights into uh, a possible new uh, relationship I might be having uh, with a company and uh, show you guys uh, some cool information and things uh, on that. Uh, so with that being said, uh, greetings to everyone. Uh, greetings to uh, Michael Fisher. Uh, thanks for being an awesome subscriber to the channel. And uh, yeah, I've also, um, I'll mention to you guys, I've started memberships as well recently on my channel. Um, so you guys can become an already member and uh, I've just kind of started with that recently on the last week and yeah I think it's going to be kind of cool it is kind of like a little bit early uh, me starting memberships on my YouTube channel uh, but yeah I thought I'd try something different um, everyone says rather wait until your channel kind of grows uh, you know I, I kind of think it'd be kind of cool to run with things and get things up and running and moving uh, quickly uh, it is 2020 and I kind of got some spare time so uh, it's kind of cool to be able to to do these things with you guys and uh, yeah to be able to obviously get comments and feedback from uh, athletes and uh, people all over the world and uh, yeah so I'm very happy to, to be able to make this YouTube channel uh, a weekly thing uh, and I'm busy Rachel and I are busy working on certain things to get Rachel to South Africa and yeah so now that there's I think there's about what or 50 odd people uh, online so greetings to everyone who's just uh, tuned in uh, and yeah I'll get to some of you guys questions as well so if you guys have any questions on any sporting related things um, you can head on down to the comment section and I'll be able to answer your guys question in the next uh, probably 15 to 20 minutes so I'll keep this live stream to about 20 minutes 25 minutes maximum this evening and yeah I'll kind of go on just about kind of the basics what I'm doing what I've been doing uh, what I'm going to uh, do for the next couple of weeks and months uh, as well as uh, what's coming up and uh, yeah kind of something extra as well I'll show you guys something cool that's uh, I'm busy working on with with a new company uh, moving forward which I'm quite excited about so yeah I'll go from kind of first through to the first thing of this evening and kind of that's taking a break from from training um, I've done a live stream already about uh, me taking a break uh, the last couple of weeks uh, I'm quite unfit now uh, so my fitness level has kind of gone from being almost at about 100% uh, when I did my 10k or okay, well, close to 100% I would say maybe 90% uh, and yeah I think I was quite a, at a, quite a good point in my uh, fitness of the year uh, when I did my 10k and yeah I was quite happy with kind of how the 10k went uh, took a break after that so the past four weeks I've been taking it super super easy uh, I've been doing anywhere from about 10 about probably about 8 to about 12 hours or something like that of training in the week, so probably maybe a bit less. Uh, just trying to let the body recover uh, from the year. Uh, there wasn't much racing going on really and stuff, so it was good to take a break. 
And I think it's really important to let your body recover uh, when you can, especially mentally as well. Uh, you've got to be mentally ready for the next year, uh, 2020. And yeah, uh, I kind of feel like I'm kind of starting to get to the point where I need to start doing some good training again uh, and kind of get back into a rhythm. Uh, we spoke to my coach, uh, Louis De La High, as well as our swim coach, uh, kind of to do with uh, what type of training I need to do in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've been planning to try and get to South Africa, so uh, I've got a cool video coming this weekend on uh, traveling to Den Haag and in the Netherlands, trying to get a visa for Rachel. And this evening, the president spoke to South Africa, and we were really concerned about um, kind of them locking South Africa down, and we wouldn't be able to get to South Africa. Um, so yeah, I'm finally booked flights going to South Africa. Pretty stoked. I have been gone since March, uh, so I've been gone from South Africa for a really, really long time, and yeah, it's kind of good to be able to to get back into some training um, next week. And yeah, it'll kind of be the first kind of initial week leading up for 2021 season. And yeah, trying to see how I can kind of better myself next year. Uh, definitely on the swimming side of things. I mean, this year has been a, a lower year than others. Um, a lot of things happening this year. So my swimming performance, sun races was okay when I was in a wetsuit and other races, like my last race was really bad. <laughs> in the last race of the season, my swim was shocking. So uh, yeah, definitely some improvements to be made there. Um, and yeah, if you guys are wondering, I'm not sure if you saw my live stream last time, I smashed my forehead open here in the middle. I walked into a door and now that's luckily healed so I don't uh, have to do the namas day anymore. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm kind of uh, feeling a little bit better. Uh, the body's getting just a little bit stiff so if I'm not doing too much training, um, we did some mountain biking and some stuff the past couple of weeks. I've been really been enjoying that. Uh, when we get to South Africa, uh, I'll be doing uh, some strength training uh, as well as some mountain biking and uh, swimming in the lake quite a bit. So it's going to summer in South Africa, which is great. So I'll be able to spend some time uh, on the mountain bike in the trails in South Africa uh, on the Tigerberg mountain bike trails. It's some of my favorite. Uh, you guys will be able to see on my YouTube channel, I'll make some epic mountain bike videos. My brother's like a drone king. So I want to give myself a drone uh, and do some uh, tracking shots with a drone with my brother in the trails, kind of like just close to my house in uh, Cape Town, outside of Cape Town, South Africa. And you guys will be able to see some pretty epic uh, mountain bike footage then. Uh, kind of looking forward to showing you guys that. And yeah, uh, I think just one, you know, uh, sorry for the screen. I think I see the screens cropping in uh, quite a fair bit. Uh, it's due to, I'm going to try and figure these things out so I can get kind of you guys in the full screen. But uh, so sorry for the green screen while you guys are watching. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of the, the plan. Uh, we're, so we're planning to go to South Africa next week. And um, yeah, I'm kind of looking, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's been, you know, quite a long time uh, since I've been in South Africa, like I said, uh, since kind of like March side. And uh, yeah, then we should just swap my cap around. Sorry, bit of a thing going on here with the light. It's a little bit better. It doesn't look like I'm standing outside somewhere. Um, yeah, and so I think, uh, yeah, one of the big things, like kind of, you know, how to get fit after taking a break. Uh, it's really important when you start your season or you start your new year, not to start too quickly, not to train too hard right at the start of the year. Um, it's definitely, you know, something I've had to learn the last few years, not to, to start too quickly. Uh, not to pick up the running too much. Uh, so kind of in the first few weeks, uh, I'm going to be doing kind of really low mileage. Um, so kind of in the region of uh, 10 to 12, 15 hours maybe in the first week. And then kind of as the week come on, I'll probably load it a little bit more. So that by the time December, January rolls on, I'll be doing kind of in the region of like 25 to almost 30 hours come January side, uh, which will be good. And yeah, I think that's kind of, you know, it's worked for me in the past couple of years, especially some mountain biking uh, has helped with some strength work. Uh, running on the trails back home has also helped with strength work and swimming in the lake and those things has really helped with strength work, kind of build my fitness at the start of the year and kind of uh, stability from the trails, from running on the trails and mountain biking definitely helps with stability. It does really stiffen the shoulders up quite a lot. So uh, gotta be careful not to do too much mountain biking and really get big shoulders or strong shoulders and yeah, I think that's kind of how the start of the next couple of weeks and months is going to be. Um, hoping uh, 
end of next week to be in South Africa, back in Durbanville, uh, my hometown where, where kind of I grew up. Uh, so looking forward to that. Working on getting Rachel a flight just before we were, I was kind of setting the live stream up here, trying to book Rachel's flight. It's been kind of a havoc. Uh, pff, literally, they cancelled our second leg of the flight next week uh, and they put it a day earlier. Uh, so one of our flights uh, was still going and another one was just a day earlier. So we would have missed everything. It would have been a nightmare. So now we're going to try and change flights and uh, yeah, we're working at trying to get Rachel a visa, so I've got a cool video coming out this week trying to get a visa. Uh, it's quite entertaining. Uh, that'll be coming out uh, towards the end of the week, as well as Friday uh, the 13th in the evening. I've got some pretty epic news for you guys. I'm super, super excited about this. Um, you guys will be able to see it. I'll be posting a really, really short video on Friday afternoon, uh, so remember to come back. Uh, and if you guys can subscribe to this channel as well, kind of while you guys are on here, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It would be super awesome. I'm trying to grow this channel to uh, let's make something, make it 50,000 end of next year. So kind of that's my goal. End of next year, I'm trying to get 50,000 subscribers on the channel uh, after the Olympics. So that would be possible. That would be super, super cool. So if you guys can give the word out to some of your friends, uh, athletes and guys out there, uh, that'd be very cool. And we can get this channel uh, up and rolling and yeah we can uh, get more live streams and get more videos out to you guys kind of how I train and uh, any different types of things you guys might want to know from a professional athlete side of things um, yeah hit me down in the comments and I'll, I'll reply to you guys uh, as it goes on um, like I've said as well I've started memberships as well so you guys can become an RD member on my channel uh, there's three different categories as well um, I'll probably make a video on my memberships as well a short uh, video to show you guys what my memberships is all about uh, and what perks you guys will be able to get in the future So we'll be able to get some shout outs uh, in my videos as well, uh, which is going to be pretty cool um, And yeah, if you guys uh, If you guys have any other questions you head on down to the comment section you guys can comment um, I want to tell something pretty cool to you guys. Um, I got something that arrived in the post the postman came today and brought me a present and you guys know what is inside this box uh, head on down to the comments now guys I'll give you uh, can I give you guys uh, two minutes to guess what is inside this box and then I'll take it out explain to you guys why it's pretty cool um, hopefully it didn't say it there on the box no it didn't well it said a little bit on the box but so just head on to the comments down and tell me which shoes you reckon is in this box uh, I'll reveal it to you guys just now um, and yeah uh, it's yeah, pretty keen uh, about uh, this relationship with this company. Um, I've worked with a couple of, uh, you know, I've been buying shoes this whole entire year uh, and I'm pretty, pretty excited to try and work with this company. I've spoken to South Africa as well a little bit, uh, but kind of just getting the general basis, starting a little bit with some things with them and uh, yeah, kind of excited to see where it's gonna go. Um, and yeah, I think, um, let me just, uh, I'll just give you guys the reveal. Let's go ahead and just bang these things out this box you had everyone saying alpha fly and it's no it's, it's not the alpha fly sorry guys it is the vapor fly i haven't done a review on this one uh, i will do shortly uh but yeah this is kind of a pink well pink and uh yellow version of them uh pretty cool uh nice colorway and uh yeah i'm going to kind of do a little bit of a review this one versus the alpha fly coming out shortly uh I'm gonna give a big shout out to Mr. Running uh, Italy. So I got these shoes from Mr. Running Italy. They sent them to me. Um, I'm gonna be working with this company. There's a link in the description uh, to go and purchase these shoes. So if you guys wanna go out and get a good deal, uh, you can head on over to their site as well as in my description. Uh, there is also the running clothing that they sent for me to test out and to try as well. So in the description uh, of this video, Hopefully there should be the link uh, where you guys can go down and you can click on and purchase these shoes. Um, I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm going to be working uh, with that company, hopefully further a little bit more in the future. Um, and yeah, I'm going to uh, be busy testing things. Well, well, I sell a whole bunch of different shoes as well, so it's not just Nike. Um, they kind of sell ASICs and a whole bunch of other different shoes in Italy. Uh, free shipping in Italy, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think also free shipping in other parts if it's under 50, over 50 euros. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of cool. So they're Mr. Running. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to be working with them, which is quite cool. Uh, I kind of believe in I want to run in the fastest shoe that I can. And uh, these are the shoes. Uh, I've got a cool video coming out as well on the treadmill. Something very cool you guys might like. 
uh, coming out sometime next year uh, that I've been working on. And yeah, I think you guys, uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure uh, why something just popped up in the screen here. Streamlabs, I might be going for the more expensive version coming up in the future. So uh, luckily it just disappeared there. <laughs> but um, yeah, still working this whole live stream thing out. I want to get my uh, Canon camera as well uh, facing me so that um, I can get the footage a tiny bit better. I'm just running with my iPad Pro now. Uh, that Zwift sent to me, so which is cool because now I can actually do some live streaming with you guys through my iPad. Um, and yeah, let's just head through. Um, if you guys have got any comments, uh, you can head down to the comments section now. Uh, that's more or less me done for kind of taking a break for the season. Uh, the next kind of five to ten minutes, what I'm going to do is just do a Q and A uh, with you guys. Uh, and yeah, you know, I'll just do a quickly shout out to my merch here. Uh, so I've got some of my other merchandise. Let me just show you guys the back of this one. Uh, this is my new hoodies uh, that I got made. I'm not sure whether you guys can see my back part of my hoodie, uh, but I got a whole bunch of cool merchandise clothing made, uh, and you guys will be able to purchase it very, very shortly. Um, so, if a lot of people ask me different items and different things that they might want, um, I've got a whole bunch of very, very cool things coming out coffee mugs, socks. Uh, cell phone covers, I've got masks as well, um, which is coming out very shortly. So uh, you guys can hit me up. Got my already mask going on. This is going to be perfect for my travel, so you guys will be able to buy all of my cool merchandise. Uh, it'll be available pretty shortly, so stay tuned to the channel. Um, and yeah, uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, it did take me quite a lot of time to get it figured out, but um, yeah, I'm. Uh, Going to be available to you guys very very shortly. Um, let's go through to some of the comments here quickly um, from this evening. Let's have a look here. Um, DB Lamente, Red Bull sponsor. Yes, I am a Red Bull athlete. In case you guys were wondering, I do put my cap on though because my hair is shocking. So I wear my cap. I put it this way around for you guys, so it's a little bit subtle. You don't have to like see all the logos, not a little bit too much. I keep it subtle. Um, Nicholas Becker, hopefully all, everyone's still online that you guys commented here because I know people don't stay on for more than about five, about three minutes to four minutes is the limited time for most people in case people are wondering, attention span is not very long um, so yeah, uh, Nicholas Decker, I love you Richard love you too Nicholas, hope uh, you're well um, John F, hey Richard, could you do a video about some ideas interval speed sessions please, thanks John from Ireland um, yeah, sure, John, I'll, um, I will do some speed session for you guys. Um, fortunately now, um, I'm not actually physically doing any speed sessions, uh, but what I can do is I can kind of give you guys advice on what type of speed sessions I do and my favorite speed sessions. Uh, and maybe you guys would enjoy that. Maybe you guys, uh, if you guys do enjoy that, uh, let me know in the comments after this video as well. Um, you guys can let me know what type of running sessions you guys would want whether it's a hilly session, flat session, speed session, long run, ask me down in the comments and I'll try and get to you guys. Uh, movement is the most number one commenter so far on my YouTube channel. So thank you, Movement. You should definitely subscribe to my channel, mate. Um, I subscribe to yours. So yeah, thank you. Um, Jordan, Caldera, how's it? RD, how's it going, Jordan? How are you doing? Uh, Christian, Parsbeck, uh, hi, how fast? Are your 1k intervals compared to your 5k race pace? Um, interesting question. So, uh, my 1 kilometer intervals are. I don't actually do 1k intervals all that often, to tell the real truth. You think 1k intervals would be the standard kind of session that you do, um, but kind of sometimes my intervals are a bit longer. Uh, but I think if I did 1k intervals, so maybe I did 5 by 1k, I would start in the first one at about uh, 310 per kilometer on the first rep. And I kind of build each 1K so that the last one will kind of be 245 pace, something like that for the last 1K. And then kind of on average, I kind of go 255 per K average between all five, and that would kind of be a great session for me. Uh, Mikael, uh, Def Keen for that long run when back in Durbanville. I'll wear Mikael, I'll see you if you eventually come. You stood, stood me up once already, bro, at Vida. We were waiting for you at Vida and you didn't come, so... And we said we even made the run for you, 
Mikel, we set the run at Vita for you and you didn't come, so, you know, next time pitch up, dude. Um, <laughs> um, let's have a look here. Antonio Rodriguez, a hard 10 to 12 hour for rest, my biggest training week. Yeah, well, that's the one thing as a professional athlete, uh, if we compare a 10 to 12 hour week to a 25 to a 30 hour training week, it's kind of less than half our training volume. So in the off season, we still got to train just to keep the muscles working and to make sure that when we start training for the next year, we don't get injured because in the, in the years beforehand, I used to take off completely. When I started running, I used to pick up some niggles in my lower legs, things used to hurt a little bit. And um, yeah, I definitely, as you're getting older, I'm noticing the, the more kind of consistent I'm a little bit in the off season, uh, the less niggles I have when I start the new season. I think when you're younger, you can get away with it, but when you get older, a little bit older, I mean, I'm 31 now, um, you definitely need to make sure that you kind of keep things ticking over, keep the muscles moving. Um, that's why mountain biking is great, and it kind of really helps you to, to get back into the swing of things when, when the training picks up uh, for the following season. Let's have a look here. Steven uh, Nachel. Uh, evening Richard, good to see you online again. Great to see you online, Steve. Uh, if you guys, everyone online, go ahead and give the thumbs up to this video. That would be super sweet. Uh, it will help the channel all that much. Um, let's have a look here. Samuel uh, Solash. Hi Richard, uh, would love to do some running sessions with you when you're back in Durbanville. I will do a run, uh, a run from Vida with uh, Richard, uh, well myself. Uh, this year, maybe I'll try and organize something with Vida. Uh, we have to keep distance though, uh, for Corona, of course. Um, so what we might do is we'll do a run. Uh, I know events are limited to 50 people, uh, which we probably won't have a problem with. There's probably only 50 runners in Durbanville. Uh, so we'll make, I'll do a run from, from the Vida Cafe in Durbanville. Uh, afterwards, I'll ask them for free coffee for everyone. I can't promise, but uh, see if we can get free coffee, that would be super sweet. Uh, Duke can do a five or six k run. Uh, everyone will be uh, allowed to come. People can come with the bikes or whatever. We can have a chat. Uh, it'll be super fun. Uh, so yeah, we'll do something cool like that. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting uh, back to Vita Cafe, having the coffee there and the pastries and stuff uh, in Durbanville. That's more or less where I live every day. So uh, if you're in the neighborhood in Durbanville, uh, in the Vita, start a next year. Come and give me a shout. I'll probably be chilling there. Um, let's have a look at some of the questions here. Uh, we're at 23 minutes odd now, so if you've just tuned into this evening's uh, online session, greetings. Uh, give us the thumbs up if you guys can and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications if you can, that would be super cool. Um, hands down, uh, have a long run. How long have you been running for? Uh, I've been running since I was about six or seven years old, uh, so I've been running for a long time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I really love running. Uh, I am a triathlete, so I did do like a cool five and a 10K and a run, a 3K, but I'm actually a triathlete uh, training for the Olympic Games for Tokyo. So guys that don't know me, I uh, grew up as a tri uh, kind of a runner and cyclist and became a triathlete. And now uh, the Olympics uh, 2021 Tokyo is kind of my next big uh, major goal that I'm going for. And everyone that's just tuned in this evening, um, that, has, that has not seen my uh, fancy uh, Nike Vapor Flyers, I'll mention it the last time. Uh, so if you guys just tuned in, uh, I got these shoes from Mr. Running and they're going to be one of my supporters. So uh, down in the description, you guys can have a look. Uh, there's a couple of products down there, running clothing and running shoes. So you guys can go and check to see what shoes I run in as well as camera gear, uh, all my other different sports items are down in the description. So you guys can go and check them out if you like. Uh, also, nutrition that I use is down there, uh, so you guys can go check that out if you like. Uh, got another subscriber here, uh, Patricio Airbus 320. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Let's get a, one, a couple more comments here. Um, the Jorge Rocha. Hello from Portugal. Buenas, buenas dias, buenas noches. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Portuguese, that's more Spanish. Um, Best workout for half marathon, 80K per week, 44 years old. Whew, interesting question, 44 years old. That's very specific of you, Jorge. Um, well, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to coach everyone here this evening on, on the program, but best session I would say for half marathon, I would say probably 10 by one kilometer. I mean, 
I would say that would be kind of a good, I mean, 10 by 1K or, or, or something like uh, some 2K repeats, maybe even like 8 by 2K or something, or 7 by 2K would be a good uh, kind of set that you can do. Um, kind of take a short break between each rep. And uh, yeah, what you can do is you try and run kind of slower than your, your marathon pace. If this is your specific key session, uh, you can kind of try and run just a bit slower than your marathon pace, have a short break between, uh, don't stop running. So just continue with some easy running between that. Uh, maybe take a minute or two between each rep and then kind of get into the next one. And that'll probably kind of help you with the aerobic capacity, aerobic endurance for kind of uh, your half marathon. That'll be a good key session. Um, so I hope that helps. Sorry, I can't uh, give you a full session here this evening, but uh, let's see, we're up on 25 minutes up here on the clock. Uh, let's go to the one uh, Jordan Arundel uh, recommended distance for long run. I'm running 100k a week. Uh, that's quite a bit. Um, kind of depends on uh, where you came from, how long you've been running for, but I would reckon an, probably an hour and a half, two hours that direction would be uh, would be really good. Um, I remember some of my long runs used to be kind of in the region of two hours to two hours 20 or two hours 15 <laughs> when I was younger and I was writing my own training program. Uh, I remember we even did like a two and a half hour run the one time. Um, and yeah, I think it's uh, it kind of cool to try and kind of stretch yourself sometimes, but you're going to kind of each, each week you can kind of add like five or ten minutes onto your long run. Um, remember also the, the Friday to take a break if you can do a long run on the weekend so you're kind of fresh enough for the long run on the weekend. Um, and yeah, let's have a look here. Um, Antonio Rodriguez, uh, thanks for all the comments and for, for being a big fan of the channel. Uh, remember you guys can give uh, super stickers and supers as well as uh, become a member of my channel by joining my channel now if you'd like. And uh, uh, yeah, as well as obviously all the information is down in my description for the other items that I use. Um, so Antonio Rodriguez, when I started, Training running or lose a lot on the bike on the strength side even zone 2 on sort of feel hard on the legs like the cardio is low any training advice to combine both disciplines running and cycling Yeah, so an interesting one is um, I find that cycling you can kind of get a great cardio Workout from cycling whereas kind of running if you do too much running um, It kind of beats your legs up a lot so you got to try and find the balance between quite a bit of biking and enough running so that your cardio capacity is really really big and I think find that that really does give you the benefit from cycling as well as swimming um, but on Zwift try to ride you know if you know what your FTP is on the bike um, try and ride just less than half that or half that when you're doing your easy rides so remember a lot of people on Zwift ride kind of steady the whole time it's the same with the running you know people are running in zone three all the time zone four when zone two is kind of where you want to be hitting to actually kind of improve uh, yourself and kind of build your strength and things as kind of the weeks go on. So you don't want to be breaking yourself down in zone two and zone three or three and four all the time. You want to kind of hit one, two most of the time and sometimes three and four kind of get the whole different range of your zones while you're training. Um, okay, we go one and two more questions here uh, and then we're going to sign off for this evening. So I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in um, remember that uh, my RD merch is coming about shortly. So, <laughs> my RD masks, I just got these this evening. So, first time that I'm putting these ones on. Not sure if you guys can still hear me uh, wearing my mask, but uh, these will be available very, very shortly. So, stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, so let's go to my current FTP. I'm kind of unfit now currently. So, uh, FTP is probably about 300 now, 310 maybe. Uh, in the season, my FTP can be about 360 or something, almost 370 when I'm really, really fit. Um, another one minute here and we just close off for this evening, guys. So thanks for everyone tuning in once again. Uh, Dries Canard, uh, what's your race pace in a triathlon for running? Uh, it's about 255 uh, for a 10K or 250 for a 10K somewhere in that region uh, and then for a, for a 5k kind of uh, 245 250 pace for a 5k uh, near the last question here chris van lent hi i just found your channel and i've been enjoying it a lot that's the reason why i have started a youtube channel well <laughs> one of the reasons 
Uh, the other one is my kind of, yeah, I kind of feel like it's nice to give back and give you guys some information uh, during the week. So on the Wednesday, what I'm going to do now, kind of I'll try and do uh, every week Wednesday, kind of 8, 8.30 in that bracket. So if you guys want to catch me online uh, live, then kind of that's when you do it Wednesday evening. And then on the weekend, I'll post one video. So I've got a video coming out this Friday evening. Stay tuned for that video. Uh, it'll come out probably 5, 6 p.m. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you can. And uh, yeah, ha everyone have a great evening. Sorry I was a bit late this evening. It's having some technical issues, but uh, now we're up and running. Uh, and I might do 720p because it looks like uh, 1080p is just not cutting it this evening. Uh, <laughs> sweet guys, cheers. Have a good evening and uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, wear your mask, and uh, remember guys to wash your hands and uh, be good out there. See you guys in Cape Town shortly. Cheers.